Hello again, everyone. So, let's continue on. We're going to start with a new section here. So, we're going to talk about how to make promotional videos that are usually found on web pages. And we'll also talk about modals, which has a real important place in Bootstrap. So, modals are pop up windows in the Bootstrap framework. A button is also needed for this window. So that means when we press this button, the modal window opens. All right, so let's start writing our HTML code and see which code we're going to need. So I'll start off by writing a section tag for a new section in our HTML file and give it an ID. Now, first of all, I want to write the code that we are familiar with here. So I'll create a container, one row and another div with call medium 12. And I'll add a title and a paragraph inside this column. When we refresh and look at the page, bada boom, there it is. So I'll add a text center class to the column just for the average of our page. Okay, so that's better. So now I'm going to add one button. And while adding our button, I create a div with class first. Then I can add a button inside. And I'll use button, button, secondary classes that we typically use. I'll write open inside. Now, the reason why I use call medium six class here, I'm just going to add one button and I didn't want to, you know, cover the entire area, the entire page width. So the button where we renew our page is here. And I'll add text center and MX auto classes to make those appear automatically. Okay, so now we can move on to the modal section. When we press a button, we want a new window to open. So for this, I'm writing data toggle attribute in the button tag and modal. Then I can use the data target attribute. And here I'll write an ID that I will connect to the modal part. And remember to put a hashtag in front of it. So now let's start writing the codes for modal. I will be back here again. So now let's go to the Get Bootstrap site and examine the modal page a little bit further. So open up the documentation page and write modal, and there's the page. Now, as you can see, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are used. And when we look at the examples, it uses modal class. What do you think? Pretty good guess, huh? So here's the modal title, body part, and buttons. One more button to close. And of course, different styles of modal. You can keep scrolling all the way down. So I'll press the button and I can see what it looks like. So let's go back to the code section and let's start preparing our modal. So now I've left this section and I'm creating a new div. And for the ID, we can use this, which we write data target attribute. So if we wrote another word here, we would use it as an ID for this div as well. So basically the ID here is not an ID that we just, you know, randomly attribute. So I'll add modal as a class and add 
the fade class for effect. So now we we'll use the attribute dialog for role. So by creating another div in this div, we add the modal dialog class. Then a new div with a modal content class. And then a new div with modal header class. And now we'll just write h3 with modal title class and modal title in it. We will add a close button. So I add a button, write close as the class, and when we close it, we'll write data dismiss modal for modal return. Now I'll just write and times, and I can put a semicolon for this button just to appear as X. So yeah, that finishes the header section. Now let's start preparing the modal body part. And then I'll write a div for the modal footer, and I'll add a button here. And then I'm syncing the data dismiss modal again here. And write close. So let's have a look and see how we're doing. I'll refresh the page and click the open button. And here is our modal window open header part, and then the body and the footer part. And here in the buttons, click X and the window closes. Cool. And again, I'll press the button here and it closes too. Yes, indeed. As you can see, that's how you create a modal window. So generally, we talked about how to use modal in Bootstrap, but in our next lesson, we're going to dive in a little deeper and we're going to arrange this modal for a project and we're going to finish up this part and you'll know everything you need to know about modals. Goodbye for now. I'll see you in the next lesson.